Hey, <clears throat> good morning everyone. Hope you're having a good beginning to your day. This week, the Jewish world lost a giant, one of the greatest Jewish thinkers and writers, Dr. Rabbi Dr. Abraham Tversky, a psychiatrist, a great scholar, a Hasidic rabbi who wrote 70 books and authored many, many books. Unfortunately, he passed away from COVID at the age of 90. And in fact, it was fascinating. At his funeral, he asked for no eulogies. He just asked him to sing one song that he composed, which is on the words, Hoshia Tamecha. He asked God to lift our nation, to help give salvation to the people and bless his inheritance, lift them up forever. That's what he wanted. It was remarkable to see. In any case, being a psychiatrist, being an author and a writer, he wrote 70 books. And someone once asked him, Rabbi Tversky, how did you write so many books? And he said, I really wrote one book. I just wrote it in 70 different ways. And one of his things as being an author and being a psychiatrist was what he found that people a lot of times lacked happiness in their life and were sad because they couldn't find that happiness. And what he realized was that really their lack of happiness and fulfillment came from a spiritual malady where they were lacking purpose and self-actualization and meaning and focus in their life. And therefore, because of that, it reflected their outer happiness and their day-to-day happiness. And he used to always say that life is many times like a lobster. What does that mean? Lobsters are very, very soft. And because they're very, very soft, they God blessed them in order to protect them. They were created with a very hard shell to protect them from all the other animals, all the other fish in the ocean. Now, the problem is as they grow, the shell restricts them and constrains them and they can't continue to grow and be the bigger lobster they want to be. So what do they need to do? They need to shed their shell and grow a bigger shell so they could actually grow. But the problem is that when they shed their shell, they're without a shell and they're very vulnerable because they're so soft to the other fish in the ocean. But the only way to grow is to shed that shell and be vulnerable to grow and become a bigger lobster. And he said the same is true with human beings. Very often, we feel constrained, we feel restricted. We feel that we lack purpose. We lack a self of who we want to be. But in order to grow, we need to shed our restraints and constraints that we've had, that we thought protected us, but were actually actually restricting us from growing. But the problem is that when we do that, we become vulnerable. But the only way to grow sometimes is to become vulnerable. And I was thinking about it because in this week's Torah portion, God says, I am God, the God who took you out of Egypt. And the rabbis ask, why did the Torah tell us that I am God, the God who took you out of Egypt, not who created the world? So a simple reason is God told us, I am God, the God who took us out of Egypt, because that's something that was relevant to them in a much closer way. But also the rabbis tell us something fascinating. And we say it twice a day in the Shema, or three times a day. That every day a Jew has to feel, the Talmud tells us, Yom, like, as if he left Egypt. What does it mean every day? How can you feel every day that, as if he left Egypt? And the rabbis tell us that the word Mitzrayim, which is Egypt, is also the same word as Mitzarim, which means boundaries, restrictions, constraints. And that each one of us has restrictions. We have constraints, just like that lobster, that shell, that don't let us grow. And every day we have to shed those restraints. We have to leave Egypt each day, not just in a literal sense, but a spiritual metaphor. God gave us that power when he took the Jews out of Egypt and he gave them the Torah. And through the light of the Torah, we have the power to leave our restraints, to leave our restrictions and to grow. And by the way, every time you leave your constraints, sometimes you get new limitations. And the next day you have to leave those. And the next day you have to leave those constantly growing. And that's why the Torah says, I am God, the God who took you out of Egypt. I take you out of Egypt every single day. I give you the power to shed those things that you thought protect you. Like that lobster that thought that the protection is the shell, yet really it restricts you. And you need a shell, shed it. And when you shed it, you become vulnerable. But only through that vulnerability and through that realness are you able to grow 
and to leave that restraints and to become large and to go to something of a higher level. I saw a beautiful story that Dr. Tversky used to say it is, you know, he used to have these um these um groups where he went to help people that would deal with addiction, etc. And he spoke to them and tried to guide them as a therapist and a rabbi and, and guide them through the light of Torah. And there was a beautiful story that he said of, of when he was a young kid that in a way he was a little bit embarrassed of, but taught him a tremendous lesson. He said growing up in a Hasidic home, he knew how important prayer was in his life. And his father gave him a siddur, and he was nine years old, that he would pray from. He knew how important it was to his father that he prayed, but he really had no interest in praying. So many times his father would go to shul and he would open up his siddur, his prayer book, and he would just leave it open as if he prayed, but he really, really didn't pray in it. And one time his father came home and took the siddur from him and was looking through it, and his father said, you know, when I gave you the siddur, I put in paper clips on certain important pages that I wanted you to see. And I see they've never been touched. I see you've never prayed. And he felt caught red-handed. He thought his father was going to punish him. What's his punishment going to be? But of course, he said, my father taught me the most important lesson. My dad didn't punish me. My dad looked at me and says, listen, as you see, you see, a person can never fool God. God knows if you, fool, if you pray or not. And you see, you couldn't fool me either. Because ultimately, I found out too if you were praying or not. So who are you fooling? You're fooling yourself. A nine-year-old child. He says, how does such a bright young guy like you allow a nine-year-old child to fool him? And he said, at that moment, my father told me something so important. He didn't punish me. He didn't scream at me. He didn't berate me. He taught me the power of myself, of knowing the truth, and the power of really recognizing that ultimately, what I do, God knows everything, and the power and the strength within me to know the truth and grow is something that I have myself. And I say that because ultimately, say, that, do you grow? Do we grow? Do we leave our constraints? Do we leave our restrictions really? Or do we just stay the same person? We could say all the nice language, but ultimately you could fool yourself. But why would you want to fool yourself? We have to learn to be able to have that courage, to be vulnerable, to shed our shell, to be able to grow to be able to become better human beings, better spiritual people, better connected to God, to our Torah, to our values, to who we are. May the neshama and the soul of Dr. Abraham Tversky, Rabbi Dr. Abraham Tversky, have an aliyah. And may his books, his teachings, his writings, and his inspiration live on through the things that he taught us and the people whose lives he touched. God bless you. Have a great day.